Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how to make a character animate in Octo Studio. And while there's no specific feature for frame animation currently, which we do want to add in the future, there is a way you can do it, so I wanted to show you. So right now in Octo Studio, there aren't multiple appearances or costumes for a sprite, but you can have multiple sprites. So the way we're gonna make an animation is we're gonna have one sprite, which is this purple square that will move around, and that will be like the core of the sprite. And then we'll have more sprites that are the frames of the animation. And we'll make those go to wherever the purple square goes to. And the purple square itself will actually be hidden during the project. So the person watching it will just see this animation. So to get started doing that, I added a purple square. And I'm also going to tap add a sprite and tap photos and add in the frames of my T-Rex animation. So I've got both of these animation frames in my project and I want them to always go to where the purple square is. So I'll say when the play button is pressed forever and I can go to the motion block and get this go to sprite block and say forever go to the purple square. So let me try that. Okay, that makes that go there. I'll actually make it happen instantly. So now it's always following the purple square and I'm going to copy this code to my other costume. So I'll just copy that. So let's try that out. Okay, so now wherever the purple square goes, these T-Rex, these T-Rex I, T-Rex, T-Rexes? T-Rexes, these T-Rexes both go. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, both costumes are showing at the same time and we don't want that. So how can we make it so that the costumes switch which one is showing? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the variables category and actually I'll do this from the purple square sprite because I kind of want it to run all the code. I'll go to this sprite and I will, in the variables category, get out a set variable block. And I'm going to add a new variable called costume. And I could set the costume to one, or, you know, I could drag out another set variable block and set the costume to two. And the way I'm gonna make an animation happen is I'm gonna make this first T-Rex show if the costume is one, and I'll make this T-Rex show if the costume is two. So to get started doing that, okay, I'm on the first T-Rex. I will go to the control category. And I can drag out an if block and I can say, if the costume equals one, then show. So let me put a when play button pressed block and put that on top. And I'm gonna go to the second costume and I will say, if the costume equals two, then show and I'll also make that happen with the play button. Oh, and I will go to the purple square and how about when the play button is pressed, I'll, I'll set the costume to one. I'll start it at one. So let's try it out. And okay, so uh, that did nothing. They're both still showing. Um, and here is the problem. We need to make them hide if the costume is not their number. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to this first T-Rex and with this if block, you can tap on the plus sign to add an else and now if the costume is one, the sprite will do this, else we can make it do something else. And so if the costume is not one, I will, oops, I will make it hide. So let's try that out. I'm actually gonna do the same thing for the other costume. I'll say, if the costume is not two, then hide. So, okay, now let's try that out. And there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. When the game starts, we set the costume to one. And so only costume one shows this one is hidden. So that's great. Also, you know, while I'm at it, I'm going to make this purple square hide during the game. Cause you know, it's just there to be the base that all of the frames in our animation will go to. So that's great. Now, let me try what happens if I tap this block to set the costume to two. So, you know, okay. I tapped to set the costume to two, but the character is still stuck on this first frame. And so why is that? Well, looking at our costume sprites, we said when the play button is pressed, check if the costume is one and show, otherwise hide. Um, but we actually need to put this inside a forever loop so that it's always checking this throughout the whole game. Like we want this first sprite to always check, okay, is the costume one? And same thing for the other sprite, we want to put this inside a forever loop. Okay, so now we've got those both inside forever loops. Let's try it out. I'm gonna go to this square that controls when the costume changes and now I will set the costume to two and there we go. As you can see, now I can switch the costumes between one and two and the character actually animates. So now to make animations in Octo Studio, in your square sprite that, like I was saying, the square sprite will control when the costume changes happen. 
Now you just have to create your animation with code. So for example, I could say forever, you know, switch the costume to one, then maybe I'll make it wait 0.3 seconds and then switch it to two and wait 0.3 seconds. So, you know, let's try that out. And now we really got a little animation going. And the nice thing about having this little base purple square is if we want to move the character around, we just move the purple square around. So for example, if I said, you know, move, now it will move and animate. Or if you had it, you know, go to a random position all the time during your game, you know, it would be going around and animating as it goes. And you could really do whatever animation code you want. You don't have to do this same code that I did. You could have it at the beginning of the game, set the costume to one and then, you know, wait four seconds and set the costume to two. So then it would do something like that. You can really, you know, do whatever you want. So that is how you can make animations in Octo Studio as it currently is. Oh, and I showed this with two costumes, but you could really have as many as you want. You just have to decide what the number of that costume is gonna be in your game and, you know, make this one hide when the costume is three and make this one hide when the costume is four or five, etc. And then just make this base sprite, this purple square, you know, set the costume to those things when you want those ones to show. And yeah, hope this helps you make your own animations. And, you know, just let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.